I sort of re relived this case a little bit, preparing for this interview, and when I realized it's been almost 20 years since that trial, I mean, isn't that shocking on some level for both of you? I, I think when I look at that, it's shocking for me, but because it's so personal and intimate, it feels like just yesterday, and so I have to remind myself that it was 20 years ago. I mean, it's almost half my life now. I've lived without my brother, and um, but it still brings back all that emotion immediately, and I can put myself right back there any second. You know, we saw so many photographs of Ron, but really didn't get to know him as a person. What yeah. was he like, Kim? He was, uh, you know, uh, full of life always. He was always such an energy, full of energy to be around. He was a perfect gentleman. Um, you know, he was my protector. I was grew up with just my dad and my brother. And, you know, I people always ask me, you know, about that night that he died. And I, I, I always wish that he would have been a little bit more selfish the night that he died, because um, he wouldn't have lost his life. But um, it wouldn't have been him. I mean, he, in his last final moments, he gave his life up for somebody else. And that's pretty much how he was my big brother. And I feel lucky that people get to know that part of him. Meanwhile, Chris, you know, you're a prosecutor in the DA's office going about your business, and then you get assigned to one of the biggest trials. What was it like for you to be in the middle of that real, I would say, insanity for a while, right? Yeah, yeah. It was insanity for more than a year. And for me, you know, it was new, just like it was new to the, to the rest of the country. And, uh, you know, despite my law training and all the years I'd spent in the DA's office trying homicide cases, there was nothing that could prepare me for what happened uh, in the O.J. Simpson case. And, and Kim, for you to have this go transpire in such a public way, yeah. you know, here you're dealing with the most personal, horrific loss. And to have it play out in front of the entire country and, in fact, the world, yeah. was that difficult for you and your family? Absolutely. It must have been excruciating. I mean, I, you know, people would follow us around and they would sit in front of our house and, you know, to have people constantly touching you and, and you know, in the one way it was beautiful because people shared in the loss and they shared in the grief and then they shared in the upset in the verdict. Um, I just never felt like I was able to properly mourn my brother's death because it was just always out for everybody um, to bear witness to. Now, all these years later, I have a young son at home. Um, he's now learning everything, and he's able to see how big it got. Um, but for us, it was always just very personal, very intimate. I always just forgot that everybody else was part of the journey with us. So I had both good and bad with it.